all right ladies and gentlemen and everything in between we're back for some more one piece last time we watched episodes 948 to 950 and today we'll be watching episodes 951 and 953 now in the last video we went ahead and surrendered our names and became as a child sunachi essentially meaning go for broke for those who want to essentially remove all inhibitions all anxiety that they might have to go forward in whatever venture they might want to pursue just say screw it let's get in there something that a lot of the army that ashura doji was uh leading had been you know saying as a child sort of a childhood uh memory or childhood saying that it pushed them to do things that they normally wouldn't do because they were overthinking it but said you know what we got nothing else to lose go for broke let's get in there when they went out to onigashima to face kaido and his oppressive ruling um and of course they never came back after that but that's a lot further than where i'm at that was actually episode 950 in episode 948 um we went ahead and got to see just how demonic the akazaya nine member kawamatsu truly is kawamatsu the Ka kawamatsu the kappa <laughs> he's a demon using some incredible moves after gaining his sword back from Rizo. and everyone is free everyone was freed from their shackles everyone was pushed to join the revolution by luffy's very very moving speech gave the braveheart speech to rally the troops against the oppressive rule of kaido why would you willingly allow yourselves to be enslaved here would you rather not die for the cause you really want to live here forever he went ahead and held everybody back who was infected by the plague um getting himself infected he was seeing the uh, excruciating pain from the plague from everyone that was infected and he was fighting through it giving the speech look i got hurt just like y'all and i am here ready to still fight join me against these fools that would think um putting you in shackles is something that they're allowed to do spark the revolution with that within everyone Nabanuki getting ready to launch out the giant poison plague but it's not poison plague totally different um but still you know the same concept like inflicting some type of damage on somebody that's going to weaken them so you don't have to fight more later it's, just, it's the same cowardice that i hate about poison i'm going to hate about plague but um when he was launching the giant plague bomb luffy tied up the, <laughs> the elephant's uh trunk and you know it blew up so baba nuki dead for sure um and in episode 950 once everything is said and done um chopper decided to you know get ready and um prepare the antidote for the plague because a lot of people were infected and they're still probably groaning and withering in agony from this plague but uh luffy of course took uh, the big brunt of it from hugging all those people for so long and um chopper is like trying to really quickly get together this antidote um momo hiding from everyone still trying to keep his identity a secret because he doesn't really feel prepared to lead the people he doesn't feel ready to come out of that shell because that's a huge responsibility to tack onto a child but considering the current circumstances there's really no way to go about this thing you gotta push forward and you know grow up essentially like it, it's unfair like <laughs> the world that they plunge this kid into is forcing him to grow up at an exponential rate he wouldn't need to do this normally but we're we're pretty bad shape right now and everyone is like on the on the cusp of giving up um and even after luffy's speech they were ready to just say like what's the point what, what, what are we doing here like why 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 are we doing this momo came out and gave him a reason why i'm here i'm the future i'm the reason you guys should be fighting to have a better life going forward and of course you know momo coming from the past to give the present a reason to fight for the future this man over here he was a child before now he's a man he stepped up all right there's a lot more for him to do but this is a this is a really big step forward in order to you know show himself like he's like he's giving them like the 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 drive to you know like 
the, the, the inspiration to do something about their current situation. And I thought that was really cool to see on top of Luffy's speech. You know, it was a lot of, it's a lot of inspiring for, I'm sure, what's about to come and be the craziest battle amongst these people. I mean, we've got two emperors in the same place right now. We have some of the strongest of the worst generation here ready to go down into this battle. And it's just, it's going to be insane. I feel like there's going to be more to come. I mean, like if we're thinking about like the other members of our group or extended group that aren't even here yet, like, um, I don't know, Jimbe, Jimbe ain't even here yet, bro. He's supposed to be here. Uh, after leaving him behind in whole cake like he after dealing with all hopefully he's all good over there with his bros but um he's supposed to be here as well i mean we're missing marco and cat viper still um and like i'm sure there are going to be some other surprise guests <laughs> surprise guest star over here shanks is gonna pull up to this giant fight i mean he might he was over there in you know the the reverie little arc like talking to the Gorosei or something like that. And he, he, he probably has some insider knowledge and is worried about Luffy here and might pull up too. I mean, there, there's a lot that could go down right now. I click some of my keyboard. Hopefully I didn't stop recording. Uh, I think I'm good. But uh, yeah, we're going to be watching episode 951 here. Also a short clip of uh, Zoro and uh, Hiyori walking through the forest and getting uh, like a surprise, not really ambush, but kind of an ambush from one of the ninjas. So, um, I think that's where we're starting off here from this first clip, but, uh, yeah, let's get into these episodes here. Starting with nine fifty one full reaction links, always in the description. You know, that drill, let's get into it. Episode nine fifty one. Oh my God. The ninjas are on him. Zoro judo. My boy is shmoving, oh my lord. Two sword style, yes sir, tower climb return. I better back up. I don't really go dynasty warriors on y'all. One piece pirate warriors. Beat the whole group. What is he riding on this land whale? Is that the dude that was... No, okay, it's somebody else. He did. Do something about it. Do something. Why do you have a cloud on you? What is that? How did that work? He's just sending out slashes like that. Got the hot... Is that Ryuo? Zoro, watch out. Ryuo is some crazy dog. He could break you from the inside, dog. Pause. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that's hurting right now. I'm putting in work. I wonder how tough it must have been for her to just sit there and pretend to be this pop idol or, or singing idol and then go over there to Orochi and just be by his side pretend like that must have been torture for her yeah he's gone too who <laughs> Yeah, I mean, Law had no choice. Right? Who, who's that? Okay, it's been it like that. Who's uh who's the second that they have? They have Law and uh I guess they assume they still have Luffy. Damn, bro. Luffy got free. Law got captured. Come on, dog. <laughs> Come on. The fuck was that? Sound like a pig squealing or something. <laughs> oh boy, updated wanted posters.
Damn. You got hold like that, Sanji. Always got an ugly wanted poster. Oh yeah, they'll never find Shinobu. <laughs> they'll never find you. That that poster, nobody will recognize. What you boiling up in that chemistry set? Good lord. There we go. Is that it? He's good? Okay. We Gucci. We Gucci. Chopper's expertise. What happened now? Is he hungry? What is that sound? This man's got like some type of universal hunger now. <laughs> Look at him. Oh god, he's gonna turn to Big Mom. He's gonna eat everything. Thank god. We got food. He just dumped it all. <laughs> More. Yeah, he's, he's got another dimension for his stomach now. It's over. <laughs> Okay, there we go. Actually, not yet, bro. You're gonna have to learn that Ryuo. It ain't time. It ain't the time. Bippo got freed? Oh, they finna snitch him out. There's no way. There's no way. To free their captain, they might. Nah, I don't know. They wouldn't do that. That's probably Cap. No, no, no. That's, that's just gotta be Cap. There's something. Something afoot. What's it mean? Show it to like Shinobu or something. Okay, Kinemon too, yeah. Wait, how'd they get freed, though? They just escaped? Or did they trade them out for law? Is that what they did? Yeah, I knew it. Something bad happened. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about it. He said, I ain't talking. I ain't no snitch. No. Look at that smile. Look at that smile. Y'all want to see the smile of a cool character? Look at that. That's him. That's him. He is him. He is him. He is him. He, that's all I got to say. He is him. How could I be him if he's him? He is the only him that exists. He's him, bro. <laughs> oh, man. My boy got captured for his crew. Uh, I mean, yeah, it seemed like an impossible situation. But then again, you got you got to understand this man law is an absolute monster when it comes to battle. So <laughs> Hawkins believed that he would go through his crewmates lives in order to get to him, which I think might have been a bluff. I don't think law would kill his own crew and maybe maybe hawkins is i don't know did hawkins really believe that he'd be willing to kill his own crew to get to him if he was also wanting to do so in order to get back his crew so going through, through to such extreme measures to get back his crew might mean that he wouldn't want to kill his crew i don't know i mean like Maybe, maybe the threat was just so scary. Like, a <laughs> boss must take responsibility for his henchman's blunder. I'll cut you up. Come on. 
Because, like, in an actual fight, I don't, yeah, Hawkins isn't beating Law. Um, and also, like, Law's ability, I, I'd imagine it, he wouldn't even have to cut him, right? He, like, his ability would allow him to just, like, cut off his body. Well, didn't, didn't Law do that before? He used his ability on him, but even then, it was going towards the others that Hawkins was connected to. So, it, it technically still wouldn't work on him. So... Yeah, I, I get. I have to go. Like I'm, I have to go back and look at their first fight because I think when Law was cutting him up with his room ability, it was still transferring over to the people he was connected to through the straw things or dolls or whatever the voodoo dolls. Um, so I was wondering if he could run through the lives with that, but that technically wouldn't kill him. So I'm gonna go back and check on that. But um, because Hawkins' ability is very confusing. <laughs> This dude Luffy over here looking like a ghoul, a ghost, a skeleton. Jesus, I'm. I guess the plague or whatever that was inside him was just running through any food he had left in order to keep him alive. So there's that. All right, let's get into it. Episode 952. Let go. Ibisu. child is that oh yasui's body okay <laughs> i was a baby bro oh my god and they still have to laugh bro bro this is just terrible absolutely terrible bro orochi must pay get smoked on sight you do great debt let it play out let the flashback play out he deserves it small caliber tiny never know the taste of Odin Yeah, cry about it, buddy. <laughs> cry about it. Yeah, roasted right before this man dies. Oh boy, Odin, bro. If Odin wants to hear about this, you would have gotten. Ooh. God. Riddled him with bullets. Guess who else got riddled with bullets like that, bro? Guess who else? Whitebeard. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm not making no comparisons. I'm just saying. That's it. <laughs> I'm just playing, bro. <laughs> Let me not compare anyone to Whitebeard. I wonder why they can't get <laughs> actual animal noises. Like, I feel like you could find them. Maybe it's harder to get those in nature. It's better just get an actual person to make these sounds. It always just... It's weird. But, I mean, you know, they've been doing it since, like, first time I noticed that with Shushu. It's just, it just sounds like, sounds off, but it is, it is what it is. And a dock in the flower capital. Oh, my God, bro. Why do they draw them like this? <laughs> At least it's consistent. All right, Usa, you got to chop your nose off. Like, there's no way. There's no that 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 nose is the most oh ghost man What is the plan right now? Why are they making them make the ugly face? <laughs> oh, okay, so they're just going to scare the shit out of the do this checking faces. Bro, what type of plan was that, dog? What? There's no way that worked. You gotta be kidding me, bro. That they really <laughs> Hey man, they, they gotta finesse it whatever way they can. She's definitely 
having the worst of experiences right now. Unable to properly mourn over her father's death. That's just... Truly the worst kind of pain. I can't even be sad. That's just crazy to think. <laughs> you have no... Jeez, geez, that's facts. I mean, it's going to be cold, but I don't know. What's the temperature like right now? And maybe Robin just wants to hug her. It's that poor baby girl. You've been through so much. Southwest of Kuri. Kuri... old stinky ships but ships nonetheless at least they're floating they're barely floating <laughs> them shit's got holes on holes on holes don't worry we got just the guy he's gonna be screaming super every second but he'll do it that is extremely helpful Because, I mean, it, Onigashima is an island. <laughs> How else are we going to get there? <laughs> if we didn't have transport, we'd be kind of screwed. Talk your talk. Franosuke, yes, sir. Put respect on his name. That's the man. Did Rayleigh have to go to... Wano to learn this technique? I wonder. Because how else would he have figured, like, th there's no way, or I don't I don't know if there could have been a way to learn this. It seems like it's exclusive to Wano. <laughs> It'll help him, but I don't know. Will, it, will, it, will he really be able to do... Do the deed and defeat Kaido. That's a big ask. I can see him doing damage, but beating him? Yikes. Where are you at? Alright, he's going to Yori. I dare you. I really, truly dare you to even put a scratch on Zoro. Now, this is definitely just going to turn out being what I said before, but still funny. <laughs> this guy's literally collecting weapons for the same exact motive we're on right now, but do your thing, bro. We're fighting for the same cause, man. Unless the twist is this guy is collecting weapons for Kaido, which he could just as easily do, but I highly, highly, highly doubt it. But who knows what Oda's planning? No one ever knows what Oda's planning. Nitoryu. No way. Ooh! Yeah. Yeah. You are not blocking that, buddy. I was about to say. Man, he'll break all of them. <laughs> That's going to be a waste, but he'll, he'll go through them. It's your fault. Oh, boy. Another third party. <laughs> it's Kawamatsu. Kawamatsu! Oh, what he threw? What he threw? What he threw? Oh, yeah, impressive. You survived. <laughs> okay, I think Kawamatsu can solve this. He's a monk? Mm, fish man. <laughs> Close, but no, Zoro. 
Actually, I don't know. Is that close? I don't think that's close. Oh, it might be. He does have the webbed hands. Now, Yori is definitely shocked beyond belief. It's like, you said you were going out to get milk, Dad. <laughs> You've been gone for 20 years. That's the joke that I did not want to make, but I mean, I had to. Oh, he doesn't know that's her grown up. Well, you know, there, there's a difference there of, uh, about recognizing who it is. So he didn't change one bit, but she did. So I was like, all right, back on Big Mom. Still in shackles, but eating her. Uh... What are those? It's not the. It's not the red bean soup. You did not kill her, not at all. Big bro queen. What? Whoa. Oh, so y'all go back. I thought they were just... <laughs> they were just like... Two pirates that just so happened to be in the same classification. They actually go back. Do you know how scary that is? If they're actually homies, we're done. You see, I was I was basing my optimism on the slight possibility that these two could have been enemies. But if they somehow make an agreement with each other, we're done for. Honestly, if other people know that, that might be why they're scared of this. Like the Goro say in higher ups in the Navy. Please don't shake hands. Please just fight. Fight to the death, even. That that make me happy. <laughs> what pirate group, though? Oh, there you go. Man, oh man, bro. Oh boy, it's gonna be like one of those relationships where they want to fight each other, but they don't really fight each other. It's just like a show of strength, or not even a show of strength. More like a. It's like a little sparring match. I do not want to see a sparring match between two emperors. <laughs> They're going to destroy the island already, dog. They're going to destroy the island right now. It's over. Napoleon, that shit don't hurt. My lord. They're both struggling, man. It's like one of those things where, like, two people that were, like, longtime friends or whatever. Or not even longtime friends, but it's been a while since we've seen each other. And it seems like they're about to fight, but then they just, like, they, like, shake each other's hands or something. Or, like, they punch each other and they both, like, hit each other's fists or whatever. It's like, and then they both match up in strength. And it's like, oh, so you have it. <laughs> You haven't gotten weak in your old age or something like that. It's going to be one of those things. Um, yeah, the sheer fact that these two know each other is uh, not good. Because, again, like, I was hoping that they were going to be against each other. But now I, I have the feeling because of that little tidbit that they're not <laughs> they're not going to be completely 100% opposed to working with each other in order to take this dude out. Um, because now that I think about it. The entirety of the setup for post time skip thus far, bro, seems to be alluding to the possibility that, uh, you know, Luffy has essentially pissed off the worst of the worst within um, the pirate world as far as the emperors go, which are, of course, Big Mom and Kaido. And you have these two powerhouses that were essentially untouchable by most of the pirate world. Um, and lo and behold, this quirky little kid with a real 
you know taste for pissing people off that are stronger than him comes around and finds a way to position himself perfectly enough to piss off two of the scariest individuals in this world you know we start off Fishman Island, which sets up the Big Mom pissing off arc. That's what's <laughs> there's two arcs of pissing off two individual emperors. We start off with the Big Mom pissing off arc, and then Punk Hazard starts off the Kaido pissing off arc, and then Dress Rosa completes the Kaido pissing off arc, and then Whole Cake Island piss, uh, completes the Big Mom pissing off arc. And now those two arcs are coming to crash with each other in Wano right now that's what that's what we've done essentially um and that is possibly the most frightening realization that I have come to because that that how you what what why <laughs> what are you gonna do now I mean these two are going they're gonna work with each other that's what I, they're gonna work with each other and Luffy is struggling enough to just take on one of them one of you one two emperors we're not fighting both there, there there's gonna be some other conclusion i was thinking there was gonna be a slight chance that luffy was gonna come out on top if they were to go out go up against each other weaken each other and then luffy comes out comes through to finish the job or something but i feel that's just too easy and that's too predictable and that's that that's not oda enough you know what i mean <laughs> it has to be complete impossible odds to be to be one piece so we have to see what happens with that um now th this is just another thing where like a small conversation would be able to solve their <laughs> their troubles right now but i mean that, that's again that's too easy so we got we got to draw it out a little bit i think kawamatsu is going to figure this out for them um i think hiori is going to be hiori hiori whatever is going to be the thing that helps out because of course she's going to vouch for zoro and then he's gonna be like why do you vouch for zoro and then she's like oh he's a part of the straw he's like, oh you're part of the straw that's okay the straw has her working with kinemon and us and then the guy over here is gonna be like, oh they're working with kid why'd you tell me you're working with kinemon here's the sword back buddy <laughs> i feel like it's gonna be something like that um luffy is probably just gonna train for like another 10 episodes or so with ryu that's what i see with that and um again toko is just having the worst of it right now rest in peace yasui you are truly a legend my brother um let's get into the final episode of this video episode 953 let go all right final episode of the video 953 let us go Kaido! Y'all summoned lightning from the sky due to a clash. When did we end up outside? <laughs> We're really just having a sparring match. We're going to destroy half this island right now. And destroy the island before they pull up. <laughs> We're about to get here on the ships and the whole place is going to be destroyed. Like, what happened? Is this really what we're doing? Kaido versus Big Mom. Sparring match of the century. In the left corner, we have Kaido of the Beast Pirates. In the right corner, we have Big Mom. Oh boy. Is someone pretending to be him, bro? Okay, I think someone's just trying to give it. Yeah, someone's pretending to be him. Because I want there to be something to be wrong. There is something wrong with somebody's. Uh, somebody just finessed you, buddy. All right, so how are they doing it? Who made the voice? Oh, right. That's good. That's smart. So you can control them. Real question is, how are you not dead? You blew up. <laughs> Animal power users. I know, I know this might be messed up, but please test it on Chopper. I want to see if it works on natural zones as well. All 
I don't know if that would be completely wrong, though. They're kind of already friends, but I don't know. Oh, Luffy had the idea. <laughs> it's called science. Test it out. <laughs> Dango. Oh, the elephant ate it. <laughs> now they both have to eat it. The elephant said, bro, I'm hungry. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Give me some of that. <laughs> Over here yelling at this child, bro. I'm trying to eat. Oh, it worked for both of them. Master Sama. Does it really need the Sama if you're already calling him Master? It doesn't... Well, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> treating him like a dog. <laughs> Don't worry, I will. Don't worry, I will. <laughs> Ryza doesn't know about your tomfoolery in the past, so he's alright, but... We know about you, bro. Luffy knows about you. Thank you for protecting Momonosuke. Oh, because he healed them, I forgot, yeah. Oh, boy. So these are the fools that we saw in the shadow earlier when they were rampaging around. Oh, they're part... Okay, they follow Heal. Old man Heal. That's good. Ooh. Blood Riding Omasa. Split Hat Sunagoro. Ocho the bat bottle gourd, <laughs> what? Snake eyes yatape. So bosses from different regions, okay. So much, like, just stuff to want. It's its own world, bro. It's really truly its own world. There's just so much to it. Like, more than a normal One Piece, like, island. This just has, like, so many layers. Oh, he said, no, 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 he's with me. It's all good. Oh my God. They got him quick. Okay. So they about that shit. <laughs> Are they going to bow to him? Scraping together in Europe. Okay. So they, they, they on the <laughs> they on the double time with that. Like we get no work right now. What do you mean escape death? That's my boy. Don't worry about it. We could talk like that to each other. Right. <laughs> That's my homie. You gotta understand Luffy doesn't care. For the rest of my bro, Luffy is just gaining so many followers. This is just getting crazy. He has the people from Dressrosa, the people from here, probably the people from Fishman Island. I don't know if other people from Fishman Island, they're kind of just regular people. <laughs> Everyone in Wano seems to be a fighter, so. Bro, this dude is sure Doji is giving us so much for this plan. He gave us people, he gave us ships, he gave us the blueprints. He really hooked us up, though. <laughs> yeah, we're, 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 we're golden right now. We got an army, you got an army, they got an army. All our army's gonna army up. 35 hundo! And you even found and freed Kawamatsu, and we got people. <laughs> Occupy the labor camp. 
Right. <laughs> you did so much more. Onigashima. Even more. Yeah, because the people that the bosses are going to bring in. Heals people. Mm-hmm. Watching Dr. Stone made me realize just how important communications is in war. And the fact that they dis they mostly disable Kaido's side of communication. Now they have their own right now. That's just making things so much better. They got a big upper hand right now, but... The advantage we're going to need on Kaido is going to be insane if we want any chance of winning right now. Because I think even with what we have now, <laughs> it's going to be tough. Very, very tough. Kawamatsu! Bum, 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 bum. That's my homie. It's me, Hiyori. How could you not tell? Hair looks exactly the same. You tell me there's gonna be somebody else with that color hair? <laughs> it's a very distinct color of hair. I didn't know humans got old so fast. Bum, bum, bum. I'm mad I didn't realize Kamamatsu is a fish, man. His hands are clearly visible. <laughs> I didn't even notice them. Kappa. Yeah, you didn't question it. <laughs> Okay, I guess the hair color is common. Never mind then. <laughs> I stand corrected. I didn't think someone was going to have the exact same shade of hair. It's a scary fish man. Run. Well, so Kawa I wonder what Kawamatsu's backstory is. Because it doesn't seem like too many people of different origin are allowed on Wano. Like Dog Storm and Cat Viper. So I wonder he was, how he was able to make it on here. If he just washed up on uh, onto the island or something. It was th so he got captured because he was looking for her. Because she ran away. Hmm. And he was over here starving and tired and no wonder he couldn't protect himself whenever they pulled up on him. Who that? Oh! Who out here blasting on sight? Orochi's people? Oh, y'all about to get it now. Y'all about to get it now. Oh, he, he took their we their weapons. Okay. You still gonna get this work? You shot him with a magnum? Good lord. Get to slashing. Zoro and Kawamatsu is an insane combo. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just tell you right now. God. That was fire. Kappa style. Two sword style. River of retribution. Rhino cycle. Fire. 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 Fire, fire, fire. fire times 10. Done. That's it. Wrapped up. Give me the backstory, man. I want to know what the the issue is with that uh with them two. Yeah, him being happy or okay with you know, leaving. I, I mean, obviously he cared about her. It's not just a job to him. So, um, he was more so just scared of her well-being. 
her going by herself but um you know it was also his task to uh make sure that she was okay and she was safe um also just the just the fact that like the 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 air surrounding her um what would you call it just like her being around like it could very well set off a lot of suspicion and a lot of um like you know who like how are you alive and all that other stuff like her being found like isn't just about her safety but also just the um how the plan would work out right like you know if some issue was to be found out that would be <laughs> it would be horrible for them essentially so um there's a lot riding on her being kept secret and he was afraid of that and the fact that she ran away at such a young age and was never caught is like the luckiest part about this whole plan if she was ever caught by the wrong person they would have known well actually did, did, was it publicly known that she was the daughter of you know everybody like if she was the daughter of i, I would assume that would be public knowledge that would it um because people knew about momonosuke but if you, if her identity was kept in maybe it wouldn't be you know, it wouldn't be too bad um but she did have to make the new identity as komurasaki so i don't know how well the public knew about her as a child but regardless you know the fact that she was able to keep herself safe to any extent is impressive um so the bosses that serve under hyogoro um that's also a very big help we got we got a lot of help from a lot of different factions within this uh <laughs> within the world of wano um i mean this could be th th this whole place could be its own anime to be honest like it's just so much so much density and there's just a whole backstory and history to wano we haven't even touched yet and we already have like all the stuff that's currently going on with the war and all that so yeah it's just a, it's a lot to absorb um yeah that wraps it up for this video ladies and gentlemen next time we'll be watching episodes 954 to 956 but that does it for this one hopefully you guys enjoyed these episodes just as much as i did and i hope to see you all in the next one peace